Welcome, one and all, to another adventure. I'm the Arcane Rogue, and this is Metroid for the NES, published in 1986. We'll start with a quick review of the manual, because back then, publishers liked to put the story in the manual. Always look for the Nintendo seal of quality. In the year 2000 of the history of the cosmos, 2000. Representatives from many different planets in the galaxy established a congress called the Galactic Federation, and an age of prosperity began. A successful exchange of cultures and civilization resulted, and thousands of interstellar spaceships ferried back and forth between planets. But space pirates also appeared to attack the spaceships. After all, shipping lanes. The Federation Bureau created the Galactic Federation Police. But the pirates' attacks were powerful, and it was not easy to catch them in the vastness of space. The Federation Bureau and the Federation Police called together warriors known for their great courage and sent them to do battle with the pirates. These great warriors were called Space Hunters. They received large rewards when they captured pirates and made their living as Space Bounty Hunters. It is now the year 20x5 of the history of the cosmos, and something terrible has happened. Space pirates have attacked a deep space research spaceship and seized a capsule containing an unknown life form that had just been discovered on planet SR388. This life form is in a state of suspended animation, but can be reactivated and will multiply when exposed to beta rays for 24 hours. It is suspected that the entire civilization of planet SR388 was destroyed by some unknown person or thing and there is a strong possibility that the life form just discovered was the cause of the planet's destruction. To carelessly let it multiply would be extremely dangerous. The Federation researchers had named it Metroid, and were bringing it back to Earth when it was stolen by the Space Pirates. If Metroid is multiplied by the Space Pirates and then used as a weapon, the entire galactic civilization will be destroyed. After a desperate search, the Federation police have found at least at last found the pirates' headquarters, the fortress planet Zebes, and launched a general attack. But the pirates' resistance is strong, and the police have been unable to take the planet. Meanwhile, in a room hidden deep within the center of the fortress, the preparations for multiplying the Metroid are progressing steadily. As a last resort, the Federation police have decided on this strategy to send a Space Hunter to penetrate the center of the fortress and destroy the Mother Brain. The Space Hunter chosen for this mission is Samus Aran. He... He? Is the greatest of all the Space Hunters and has successfully completed numerous missions that everybody thought were absolutely impossible. He is a cyborg. His entire body has been surgically strengthened with robotics, giving him superpowers. Really? Even the space pirates fear his spacesuit, which can absorb any enemy's power. But his true form is shrouded in mystery. The planet Zebes is a natural fortress. Its sides are covered with a special kind of stone, and its interior is a complicated maze. On top of that, the pirates have planted devices and booby traps in the maze, and the pirates' airy followers lie in wait around every corner. Samus has now succeeded in penetrating Zebes. The time is running out. Will he be able to destroy the Metroid? And save the galaxy? Well, considering I'm at the helm, we're gonna probably die a bunch first. Anyway. Destroy the giant mechanical organism, the Mother Brain! Let's take a quick look at the enemies, because here's a map of Zebas on our way to the list of enemies, and, you know, the publishers used to put the enemy list in the manuals, too. And I figured, you know, this would be a nice little thing to find. I was able to find a good copy of the, uh, a PDF copy of the NES manual, so I figured I'd share it with you all. All paths start at Brinstar. Face the treacherous fire sea of Norfair. Two mini-bosses lie in wait. Torian, the headquarters. Strange statues that we can shoot things to get our power-ups, like the long beam and the ice beam, the wave beam, the very powerful screw attack, the high jump, the various suit, energy tanks, missile rockets, and tons 
of enemies. Mellow Zebs Zoomers. See, that's not a new term, by the way. If you're a, a Gen Z audience member, you know, like this isn't a new term that came about. That this term has been a while a, around for a long time. It's a small spiky thing that crawls on the floor. Ahem. Take from that what you will. Scree, Wavers, Rippers, Rios. Mini Boss Hideout 1 has Mimus, Gigas, Screes, Rippers, Sidehoppers, and Creed. Mela, Squeeps, Polyps, Novas, Gamets, Ripper 2s, Dragons, Multi Violas, Gerudas, those await us in Norfair. Zebos, Holt, Violas, Multi Violas, Disgiga, Ridley await us in his hideout. And then in Torian, we have Rinkas. The Metroid, Zibitites, and the Mother Brain. Note, the total time we take to complete our mission determines its final outcome. Emergency order. Defeat the Metroid of the planet Zebeth. Zebeth? Oh, We're gonna have to wait a second. Listen, there's going to be some mistranslations, okay? Give me the emergency order again, please. Planet Zebeth and destroy the Mother Brain, the Mechanical Life Vein, Galaxy Federal Police, M510. Execute Order 66. Sorry for the jump cut there, I had to remap my controller. Let's get started. Here we are. Samus, we have a very short beam. We start with 30 energy. Not even a full energy tank. We can shoot up, we can shoot left, we can shoot right. No shooting down, no diagonal shooting in this game. We can jump, we can spin jump, and uh, being able to differentiate between the two in your controls is going to be vital to your survival, and vital to my survival. And then we have the first power-up. I love that jingle. That is, uh, I believe the, the um, manual calls it the Marumari, uh, or Morph Ball. Take that, zoomers. Yeah. Those things are nasty, just keep running. They will hurt you, uh, and the little explosions that they make also hurt you. Doors you shoot to open them up, just like in Super Metroid. Uh, well, I guess just like in Metroid, um, <laughs> because this definitely is the game that came first. No crouching for Samus. It's just standing or morph ball. So. We're in Brinstar. And, um... Well, honestly, with, with this game, what we want to do is basically keep moving. Um, don't stop unless you have to. Urgh. The enemies hurt. And, uh, honestly, staying in one place is how you die. Staying to fight unnecessarily is how you die. I do, I did prepare myself some notes because, uh, as the manual said, Zebus is a maze. And it's not joking. Okay, um, it is a maze. And we will get lost. It is definitely worth, um, looking up a map if you intend to play it yourself. I will, uh, link a couple of things in the video description for this series, and in the playlist description, I suppose, um, that have maps and, uh, a walkthrough 
that shows you paths um, that you can use. Uh, um, that I use to help me prepare for this adventure. Our first point of call will be to um, hit the long beam. So we need to take this vertical shaft up to the first hallway on the right. Because this beam length is going to cause us considerable problems, and I need to quit trying to pick up every single power-up that I can get. But yeah, um, you basically don't want to stop in an area, you want to keep moving, and dodge enemies more than fight them. It's not worth your time, that's how Samus will end up getting hurt. Uh, stopping to recharge for energy and missiles is acceptable. We just want to head straight down here. I don't remember if, uh, on these far side platforms, if there can be any uh, zoomers, so we do have a pause key, and I need a moment. Apologies. Uh, be aware that if an enemy enters the door with you, they can injure you. This is uh, a part where the enemies will just continuously spawn, and you can use that to uh, fill up on your, your energy and your missiles. Speaking of missiles... All right. Now we need to go back. We need those. That was a missile pickup. This is a beeping sound that you will hear a lot. That is a death sound you will hear a lot. Fortunately, we start back at the starting location in Brinstar with 30 health and 5 missiles. There are no checkpoints. You'll notice that there are passwords for this game. Urgh. And you'll see that I get hurt a lot because I am used to my Super Metroid controls. Anyway, we wanted to get back to this shaft. So if you're a better player than me, you can possibly do it by uh, not dying. And if I ever get super quiet, I'm either admiring the music, or I'm trying not to die. <laughs> Poor Samus. They left me in control of their spacesuit. That will prove a very fatal error. Firing missiles is uh, done by pushing the select key and then uh, the fire button.
Anyway, we wanted to get up to this door. Ah! Wait for the zoomer to get past us. This is a missile door. Need to fire five missiles at it. And here we get the long beam. Now our bullets go all the way across the screen. But that's it for this episode of Let's Play Metroid. I've been the Arcane Rogue, and as always, I hope you have a wonderful day.